my dice. Eagle eye, my ultimate is ready. Eesh. Hello, I am not Justin. It's been a while since I've seen ya. Long time no see, but today we are back again to review the Mage Punk 3.0 collection, coming with three skins in eight minutes. Likewise, today we are also going to be checking out this brand new interface, as well as equipping all of the other Mage Punk stuff to make the ultimate Mage Punk collection. It has been a while, but let's fast forward to the Mage Punk 3.0 collection coming out because I wouldn't miss this for the world. All right, we've got about 10 seconds left until the Mage Punk 3.0 collection comes out. We are going to give it a thorough review, of course, and we're going to make the ultimate Mage Punk collection. It's going to count down to zero. It's not going to auto-change because it doesn't do that anymore. Boom. So, this is pretty interesting to see. 6,127 VP. I think this is a pretty cool um, storefront page for this, too, because there is only three items, unfortunately, plus the buddy, which is really cool, and the card. No spray this time around for some reason. Let's stop talking about it, though, and let's buy it and see what we've got going on. Wow, that was actually kind of, like, really quick. Usually it takes, like, there's, like, some kind of delay with it loading. But here we go, dude. Mage Punk Episode 6, buddy, because they're too good to call it Mage Punk 3.0. We have the Vandal, which is really crazy to see here. The Phantom and the Mage Punk Spark Switch, which is an interesting name. This is just a butterfly knife. Let's head on over to the inventory now, which is entirely all brand new. This looks, um, I don't want to be too negative here. It does not look great. I love what they did with uh, the spray wheel and the player cards and stuff like that, but everything else has entirely lost its symmetry uh, with nothing really to be added to it. They just change this around. We're here to talk about Mage Punk, but just real quickly here, we're going to go to the sprays. This is awesome because it has a control F feature where you could just type in, oh, look at that. It's both of the Mage Punk sprays. But the thing that really invalidates this for me and makes this really silly is that the sprays, uh, did it need this? Yeah. But what really needs this is the buddies. First and foremost, we have to upgrade all three of these skins. I have 70 Radiantite, which I hope is enough, but I suppose we'll find out. Let's favorite it and let's upgrade the Phantom first. Okay, it looks like we're going to be kind of cutting it here, but that's okay. Okay, I really need the Mage Punk Melee to be 10. Okay, it is 10. Good. And just like that, all of this stuff is fully upgraded. 70 Radiantite in total to fully upgrade this stuff without any variants. Here is the new Mage Punk card. We'll favorite it. Uh, fun fact for you guys. Um... In this, uh, the Mage Punk 2.0 card, this is the same guy as it is here, so that's pretty cool. Let's go and equip all of the other Mage Punk stuff so we can see what's missing. There is a lot of Mage Punk stuff in the game, and this collection only had three things. It should have had five things. I don't know why it doesn't, and it's an absolute travesty that it doesn't because... Uh, personally, as a creator, as somebody who enjoys this game, the ultimate goal, the dream for me, is to have an entire collection that consists of just one skin line. That, like, that's all I've ever wanted in this entire game, and they just won't do it. So, personally speaking, let me just spit some facts at you guys. If, if I were to re-release Mage Punk 3.0, I would not just include these three weapons here. I would have them, obviously, but I would also include... Mage Punk Classic. The Mage Punk Judge, just because this bottom part right here, like the actual thing that holds the ammo, um, that would be really cool with like sort of a glass like Tesla tube that they have and all the other stuff. Mage Punk Odin, just because, you know, same concept. It would just be crazy and it would sound crazy. It would look crazy, all of that stuff. So, you know, it kind of is what it is. It's sad and unfortunate. I don't know what their reasoning behind dropping the skin line is without the other skins. Uh, when you look at the pricing of this being... 6,125 or whatever it was. It's a little bit odd when you think back to Mage Punk 1.0 came out at 8,700 by accident and then they kind of refunded people's VP and not their actual money. So that's a little bit annoying. Regardless though, it did still have like an entire collection of skins that it came with. If you look at Mage Punk 2.0 and that came out with the operator uh, animations that you purchased not working. 7,100. Why is the price difference for this um, so minuscule? I don't know. As sad as it is that we don't have an entire Mage Punk collection, this is, you know, getting us closer to the true definitive ultimate Mage Punk collection. So I guess we'll go in real quick and we'll fill in the blanks with just some like bronzy brown skins. Let's do that real quick.
pretty cool. It's sad to still be here filling in the blanks with like the glitch pop stuff. And um, I do think that Origin really fits in well with this. But uh, to my knowledge, like that's the only thing that I could put here is the Origin Frenzy because everything else has a skin for it. The next 3.0 collection, in my opinion, and I know they're not calling it 3.0 anymore. They're just giving it like, you know, name plus episode for some reason. But uh, glitch pop totally deserves another pack that fills in all of the blanks. Uh, what of these skin collections in the game is going to have uh, a weapon skin for everything that is in the game? You know, it's inevitable. It's going to happen at some point, and I kind of believe that it's going to be Glitch Pop because Glitch Pop just already has a ton of skins for it. You know, sadly, it could have been Mage Punk. Uh, at least it could have gotten us closer to that, but it wasn't. That's just my personal opinion. I do believe that uh, Glitch Pop will be the one to sort of finish all of the skins in the game, but we'll see. That has yet to be determined. First things that we're going to do, though, before we go to the range, we're going to favorite this, and we are also going to set the level to level 1 to see what this looks like in the level 1 variant before we look at it. We're going to choose Cypher because when I did the Ultimate Cypher collection, um, he was kind of like the Ultimate Mage Punk character, but look at this. No animations. Honestly, pretty cool how it is. It reminds me of the uh, Battle Pass, like, I don't know what it's called, but it's the one that's supposed to have, like, acid inside of it. All right, I'm going to snap my fingers and it's going to be fully upgraded. Look at that. This is much cooler than all of the other Mage Punk melees that exist. So, you know, in order, there was the Mage Punk Dagger, and that was kind of whatever. I didn't personally like it, but it was something. And then there was the Mage Punk Claw, which I thought was pretty cool. Who would have thought that this would be as cool as it is? Let's brandish it. I love the sounds that that makes. It, it like kind of like just like snaps. Like it's kind of like scratching a part of my brain. We'll do the pull out. And there is a brand new animation with this apparently that's all new. So uh, I think it involves swinging this. So let's give her a swing. Oh, okay, yeah, that right-click animation is insane. Let's switch this to left-handed and see how it looks. Kind of trippy. Yeah, tons of people have always asked me to um, show this stuff in left-handed when I make these videos, and I always forget, so I'm sorry. You know, I'm not perfect, and it's very evident. Right-handed, okay. So, uh, let's get some bots out here and take a look at the other stars of the show here. Arguably, the actual stars of the show here, and that is the Phantom and the Vandal. I should have put the buddies on, but uh, whatever. See, an improvement from the other two Mage Punk collections, because we're going to pull out this... No electricity. Sad stuff. They essentially made um, the Mage Punk 3.0 stuff to be enhanced, if that makes sense to you. Um, you know, it sucks because I like when they add in new collections that are based off of one skin line and make them better, but make all the other ones better too. There's the pullout. This one could not be so lucky to have as cool of a pullout. So, I don't know. It's a little bit sad. You know, they had an opportunity to make this better, and they kind of just didn't. I love how that sounds. Amazing. Here is the crosshair. Cool stuff, and we'll look at the pullout just one more time. And we'll brandish it one more time. It's so sad and unfortunate because the Mage Punk Ghost is one of my favorite ghosts, and it deserves the same treatment that this has. Side note, though, it is pretty cool. Look at this. One Mage Punk item. Two Mage Punk item. Three Mage Punk item. So we don't really have too much to look at, but now we're going to pull out the last item of this somehow, some way, and that is the Vandal. And this honestly kind of looks crazy and big and bulky. 
Like, I don't know. I might be crazy. To you, like, you guys out there watching this, does this look big to you? Because it looks really big to me. Let's brandish it. Okay, the sounds of this are just insane, dude. More little side note peripherals for you. If you look down to the bottom left of the gun, you can see that it moves back and forth. A lot like uh, what you would notice with the Spectre. Let's do a slow motion of how the bullets look. Neato stuff. And this is basically all that there is to this collection. We have three items in total, the melee and, um, you know, the Phantom of the Vandal. The three most important items, arguably, that this collection has been missing since day one. Uh, if we had to go back and redo things, would we give a Vandal and a Phantom to each of the first two collections and then save the peripheral stuff for last? Uh, I don't know if we would do that because it led us to this point where we have just a crazy amount of Mage Punk stuff now. But, um, you know, it kind of just is what it is. Let's get rid of some bots here. We're back here in the collection, and one of my biggest gripes with Mage Punks 1 and 2 is that the variants have always been kind of pointless. This is Mage Punk 1, and when you bought the variants for this, it just changed the color of the electricity. And... It's very minuscule when you compare it to the rest of the actual gun here. So I always thought it was silly to get, and I sort of tried to avoid buying the actual variants for this because, you know, again, it's just pointless. It doesn't do anything. And we fast forward to today, and we have all of these brand new variants that are entirely new. This looks absolutely insane. You know, I haven't seen much of this aside from like just the Twitter leaks and stuff like that. This looks crazy. Like this is actually crazy looking. We have a silver variant and I'm very excited for that. So stay tuned um, for tomorrow or whatever it might be. I'm going to make an ultimate mage punk collection out of this crazy silver variant. Like I've always wanted to do like an entirely metallic collection. This is the one to do it with dude, for sure. And then we have this one, which is um, strange, I guess is the word to use for it. Uh, it's pointless and they got rid of the pink variant uh, for whatever reason. I think they should have axed this one because like, what does this look like? You know what this looks like? This looks like this. Where is it? It honestly does look like that a lot. But yeah, here's the variants for um, the Vandal as well. This is really cool, dude. This is honestly kind of like Harbor Vandal in a way. Beautiful silver variant. And lastly, we have again the beige variant for this where, you know, it's really clean looking and cool. I almost forgot. Let's put on the buddy. So here the buddy is. And I believe that this changes with the actual variant that you're using too, which is pretty cool. Look at that. It does. Cool. Silver one goes hard, dude. And then, uh, you know, we saw this kind of earlier, but there that is. It doesn't really look too much different from default. Mage Punk buddy. Mage Punk episode six buddy. And then we have to scroll all the way down over here. Mage Punk episode three buddy. Like, why? Make it make sense, right? Nice. So this is your ultimate Mage Punk collection, the start of it at least. The next one that we're gonna probably be doing is the ultimate Silver Mage Punk collection. Um, you know, we're just gonna have some fun here and that's all that I've ever wanted to do. We're gonna be playing some games with my good pal, Ethan, who actually made the thumbnail for this video. Link in the description, check it out. Let's go and have some fun. This month has been terrible for me, so I just wanna enjoy anything. Shadows traveling. My thanks. Where is it? Where is it? 147 on Sova. My thanks. One enemy remaining. Dude, that fing sucks. <laughs> that is crazy. The afterlife. Afterlife kill. The hang time that that happens. Do I recommend you buying this? Um, it's a little bit cheaper than it would be otherwise, but you're really getting less for it. So the price is always iffy. 
they can't just release a collection that is a fair price and you know it's no different with this but on the other side of that swing um this is a really solid collection i love how it feels i love how it sounds the variants for this are really fire we're gonna check those out tomorrow but uh yeah you know this is a recommend for me and it's a very far cry from what we used to see with the mage punk stuff where um i didn't think it was such a recommend i thought it was kind of bad and all this time later it just still somehow holds up uh mage punk 2.0 one of my favorite things about it was how it sounded and the guardian sounds insanely good i still think that this is probably the best sounding thing out of all the mage punk collections however the vandal still sounds really really amazing like this is a great skin uh, i love how this looks i love how it sounds i love the variants for it this is a solid skin for sure like if you're gonna get anything from this get the whole thing dude the knife itself also impeccably good like you can't go wrong with this at all so uh you know that's pretty much my jurisdiction on how I feel about this. Uh, the Mage Punk stuff has only gotten better, and it's no different with 3.0. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comment section if you're going to be picking this up and how you feel about it. But, as always, I'm Justin, and you're not. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and click the bell for notifications so you don't have a single video ever. Even if there's a...